Hello friends and welcome to another video here today at Paul Sawyer Public Library. Today we are celebrating Earth Day, so happy Earth Day. We are going to be creating a recycled crayon craft today. So we are going to be taking our old broken crayons, melting them down in the oven and making something new. So to get started, you will need a silicone mold like this. So you can find these at the craft store or um, the grocery store in the candy making section. You can sometimes find bigger ones in the baking section. And they're usually on clearance around the holidays. I got these at the end of uh, February towards the end of Valentine's Day. Then you will need some old broken crayons. Um, and after you, after you find your broken crayons, you're going to peel them. So you need peeled broken crayons. So it's towards the end of the school year, so you might have some of these lying around the house. So our first thing we're going to do is we're going to take our mold and we're going to fill up these molds with our crayons. If you want like a solid color, you're just going to put just one color inside your mold. If you want to mix it together and make swirly crayons, you can add different colors to your mold. So in this one, I put pink and orange. And then another fun trick is if you have broken white crayons or broken black crayons, adding those color black and white in will create swirls inside with your crayons. So I'm gonna put that in there. So just like that. And as you can see, I filled them about three fourths of the way full, but they're not like overflowing because we don't want wax to go everywhere. This is a mold I finished filling up. So you can see, I kind of have a little bit of everything inside those molds. After your molds are filled, you want to preheat your oven to 275 and you're going to put the crayons in there for seven to 10 minutes, keeping an eye on them. Once all the wax has melted down and has gone to liquid, that is the time to pull it out of the oven. So keep an eye on it. Of course, you want to be safe. So please use your grown up if you are using the oven. So once you've done that, You'll pull them out and you will let your molds cool for about 15 to 30 minutes, depending on the size of the mold. So I already cooked some for us. So here is my crayons that I made. So as you can see, I kind of, I went with like a solid color route. So I did, um, I put all the blues with the blues, all the purples with the purples. And then as you can see, I put a white crayon in with the purple and it's creating that girl with cool swirl. So these are really fun. I like how chunky and big they are. Um, it's kind of uneven, like at the top of the mold where it melts together. So if you want to, um, like you can break that off easily and throw it out. I just color on it and then it will go away, but I just wanna show you how fun these are real quick. So there's my red. And you can like try your pink. Oh, there's red and pink in this one. Then orange. You can see on top, I got that, the white swirl in there. It's gonna make it swirly. Then yellow. It's bright yellow. Then our green. Maybe. Oh, I see, it's like a yellow green, so it's having a hard time showing up. There we go, there's the, there's the rest of the green. And then I can try the, my blue is extra chunky, so I might break some of this off. So I can do blue for my sky. And it's fun, I think it's kind of fun and different to color with different shapes. And if you are learning to read and write, sometimes it's easier to hold, I know it's easier, it's easier to hold a bigger writing utensil than a little one. So, and then finally our purple, we can see. So I got some blue and purple in here. So when it comes all together, it's kind of swirling. So this is like a fun, easy craft to do for Earth Day. So I hope you have a wonderful Earth Day and celebrate the beautiful planet we live on and have a wonderful day. We'll see you next time, bye.